Health and Safety, Part 2. Local staff should be your first point of contact in case of an emergency. They are in the best position to help you as quickly as possible. You will receive the local emergency phone number at the mandatory on-site orientation. If you are on a faculty-led program, alert the faculty leader. Contact your family and friends only after you have alerted local staff. Follow the emergency protocols explained at orientation. Always carry the emergency numbers provided for your program. Make sure your cell phone is with you, turned on, and charged at all times. Download the Alert Traveler app to receive safety and security alerts for your location. U.S. citizens can also sign up for alerts through the U.S. Department of State's Smart Traveler Enrollment Program. In addition to the location-specific information you will receive at orientation, follow these general safety guidelines. Keep track of your belongings at all times. Be aware of your surroundings. Have a plan. Know how to get home at night. Stay in groups or with at least one other friend. Avoid being separated from your friends. When you're in public, be inconspicuous. Learn about cultural norms regarding the consumption of alcohol. Always drink in moderation. Be informed about current events and avoid large crowds and political demonstrations. Always register your travel plans through Syracuse Abroad's travel registration form. Registering your travel will let you receive information and alerts specific to your destination through your Alert Traveler app. This information is only used in case of an emergency because staff cannot help you if they don't know where you are. Cultural adjustment is normal. Most students have ups and downs throughout the semester. If you have questions, contact your admissions counselor or a global ambassador prior to departure or talk to local staff during your program. Remember to observe your surroundings and try to understand before jumping to conclusions. Be patient, keep an open mind, and maintain a sense of humor. Read about your host country, especially before you leave. Take a class in the local language. Join local groups and clubs. Take advantage of field trips and activities. Talk to on-site staff and ask lots of questions. Rely on your local support system and network. The way people think about gender, race, nationality, ethnicity, and sexual orientation is different around the world. Local attitudes regarding your identity may be different, and perspectives will most likely vary within your host country, just as they do in the United States. Take some time to reflect on your own views and reach out to staff members with any questions you may have. While you are abroad, you will be an unofficial ambassador for Syracuse University and for the United States. You will be held accountable to the Syracuse University Code of Student Conduct, Syracuse Abroad Behavioral Standards, the Syracuse University Academic Integrity Policy, and the Syracuse University Sexual and Relationship Violence Policy. Please become familiar with these policies, which can be found on our website. If you ever face issues concerning sexual and relationship violence, reach out to local staff or the program leader first for immediate support by calling the local emergency number provided to you during orientation. In addition, Syracuse Abroad main campus staff are always available 24-7 for emergencies. For confidential reporting and over-the-phone support, you can call the 24-7 Sexual and Relationship Violence Response Team, 1-315-443-4715. For more information, refer to the Health and Safety section of the Syracuse Abroad website and read the Preparing to Go guide.